What is up Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next and I will make sure to display the most likely vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the True Fate Adder, and yes, I agree, the ultimate cash flex back in 2013 when the game came out. Now, unfortunately, this car doesn't have any visual modifications, but we're still going to max it out with the performance upgrades, change up the wheels, and the paint color, of course. So this car was an OG vehicle that came out with the game originally, and was one of the most popular cars back in 2013 that almost everyone wanted and many players had. I'm sure most of you remember the crazy chrome paint jobs, the dollar sign wheels, and all that crazy stuff people would put on these cars. Definitely some interesting times for sure. Now, this car cost over $1 million in GTA Online and was the most expensive car at the time. It also had the highest top speed in the supercar class and held that record for about two and a half years up until the Bench 900R came out in January of 2016, which was a lot faster. Now, obviously the acceleration and handling on the Adder wasn't too great, so it was only really ideal for long highway top speed races. But anyways, this car is primarily based, obviously, on the famous Bugatti Veyron. But not just any Bugatti Veyron, Rockstar actually took inspiration from a concept art drawing from 2012. And it's most noticeable when you compare the back end of the cars here, as you can see. So, a little backstory. After the Veyron Supersport came out in 2010 and broke the production car top speed record with a speed of 267 miles an hour, a lot of automotive journalists speculated, based on supposed <laughs> insiders at Bugatti, that there would be an even faster Veyron than that that would go 290 miles an hour which obviously, as we all know, never happened, but this concept art was made based on what they thought that supposed car would look like. And I guess somewhere along the line when Rockstar was designing the adder for GTA, they came across this concept art and used it as their inspiration, which is definitely a very strange choice. But as we know, Rockstar loves to take different approaches to their car designs, and honestly, the result is pretty good, if I'm being honest. I kind of actually prefer the back end of the Adder and GTA more than the real Veyron in terms of a taillight design. Again, that's just my personal opinion, but the rest of the car, definitely the real one is nicer. But in terms of the rear taillights, I do prefer the design on the Adder a little more. But anyway, let's go ahead and customize this old supercar top speed king. What are we doing today? All right, here we go. Again, guys, remember, <laughs> not really any visual customization. Again, this is a 2013 car. Even though a lot of cars did have visual customization back then, but I guess Rockstar didn't really want to go crazy with this one or put really anything on it for that matter. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go through it. So we got armor. We are going to put a pretty unique paint color on this, which you'll see shortly. So engine brakes, all that good stuff. We got lights, xenon, yes. We got plate, so I already got my custom Veyron plate on there. Let's go ahead and give it a black background. Uh, now, in terms of color, <laughs> I thought about this for a while. It's difficult to find a good color for this car. Uh, most people do black and orange or chrome. <laughs> Just black by itself or white and blue or whatever. I, I went for a different approach. I spent a lot of time trying to think of a good color combination for this. So we're going to do... Kind of similar to like the Hermes Bugatti, that like strange cream color, but we're gonna put our own kind of twist to it. So we're gonna go to metallic, we're gonna go to cream, and then we're gonna go to secondary color. We're gonna go to the metals category, and we're gonna put pure gold stripes. Look at how good this looks. I mean, when I when I was messing with the colors and I found this combination, I was like, yes, this this has to happen. It just it looks so good on this car. Um, kind of like a luxurious kind of custom touch. I just think it fits it very well now Unfortunately, I wish we could paint the interior uh, on this unfortunately we can't being an older uh, 2013 OG car, but yeah pure gold stripes 
uh, Crumblum goes on the hood. Okay, so Crumblum goes right on the hood. Alright, suspension. We definitely gotta slam this. Yes. Yeah, the stock right height is way too much. Even the lowest one is kind of like perfect. Even like stock cars these days come this height in GTA. So that's kind of surprising that's the lowest. But do that. Looks great. Transmission, turbo. Now, wheels. Also a very difficult choice. Now, originally, I was going to go to the street category, and Rockstar kind of added in the uh, Nero-style stock wheels in here, which they call True Fade Concave. But I didn't really like the way they looked too much on this car. I felt like they were too simple. I didn't really like the way they looked on it. So, we're going to go to high-end, and then we're going to go to these wheels right here. The, where is it? The Obey RS. Now, I really like this because we have the multi-spoke with a kind of like concave design. And then we also have the chrome lip, which kind of matches the chrome lip around the grill, uh, the front vent area, the door handle, all the little like chrome this touches this car has. I feel like it kind of ties it all together well. And then we're going to paint the wheel black where it's only the spokes themselves. And then it keeps our outer chrome. I feel like this looks great, kind of like luxurious and also a little sporty as well um, so that's what we went with there uh, windows obviously darkest tints possible and that's pretty much it pretty much like a luxury <laughs> Bugatti build let's go ahead and take it for a drive oh that looks really good <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Definitely been a while since I've driven this thing. Alright, floor it. Ooh. Pretty good acceleration. Picking up speed. Oh yeah. And now we are flying. <laughs> this thing, even today, I mean it's still a fast car in terms of top speed, even with all the newer supercars that have released over the years. It's still a fast car. Can't deny that. Uh, handling obviously isn't too great. It's uh, heavily understeers. The acceleration is decent, but not too great when you compare it to the other supercars in the game, which just accelerate very, very quickly out of the corners. This one you can see it struggles a bit once you come out of a corner. Acceleration isn't all that great. But, I mean, this one is all-wheel drive, so do a nice little handbrake launch with it. You're going to improve that a bit. Look at that. Not too bad. Helps it a bit. Still, again, not as fast as the newer super and sports cars in the game. Interior. Ah, yes. 2013. <laughs> we didn't have first person in 2013. Uh, that came out with a PS4 and uh, Xbox One, but, um, you know, this thing had one of the copy and paste uh, sports car interiors, which is a little unfortunate. I feel like for the, you know, the, the Bugatti of the game, they should have gave it uh, an exclusive interior, um, which they did do that when the Nero came out, but then they added that interior to a bunch of other cars, uh, not making it special anymore, so, yeah. Uh, in terms of doors, um, this this thing, uh, I'm like 99% sure only the uh, the doors open. No, none of the other panels open. Oh, the front trunk opens. You know what? I did not know that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I did not know that. Wow. I had no idea. That's how you can see how long it's been since I've driven this. <laughs> and, wow. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well then, front compartment. Nice. Look at that, it's got some carbon fiber around the edges. Nice little detail there. Nicely done. Wow. Interior again, as I talked about earlier. <laughs> it's not, not too great, kind of sports car, copy and paste interior. Um, what I did like a lot about this car back then, you can kind of see the engine there exposed, which was kind of cool. Um, obviously, you know, 2013 texture quality on the engine, not not very good, but I mean, the idea was there. <laughs> it looks it looks it looks pretty good. Honestly, the Nero was like this car, but just taking it up a notch. Uh, better textures on the interior, 
the engine uh, cover and all that and I mean it just looked a lot better overall but this one in my opinion still has the better exhaust note is it worth a million dollars currently I'd say no unfortunately um, you know, if you can get it on discount, by all means, that's, you know, if you can get it for, let's say, 600000 great, great deal. Um, but a million dollars, I feel that's a bit pricey. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you feel it's worth a million dollars currently in the state of GTA? I mean, obviously, let's say this card never existed, right? Um, and Rockstar were to add it in now, this thing would they'd probably price it at about $2 million. Or even maybe even more. <laughs> Um, and obviously, though, it'll probably have the active rear spoiler, which this thing has the cutout for it, but it doesn't move. Uh, the first active rear spoiler car we ever got in GTA was the T20, I believe. Um, and that was kind of like new kind of tech <laughs> that Rockstar put into the game, or uh, should I say feature. But, yeah. Overall, still great car. No visual customization, unfortunately, which I feel really impacts the car itself. But now that I think about it, I think this is the only supercar that doesn't have any visual customization. I'm trying to think of another supercar that has no visual customization, and I think the Adder is the only one. I, I can't think of another one. Um, even the OG cars that came out, OG supercars, we had the Infernus that has a spoiler upgrade. We had the Cheetah that had spoiler, among other things. We had the Entity, which had bumper, side skirts. Um, I, I can't think of any other car that had no visual customization. I'm pretty sure this is the only one, which is kind of funny. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.